Yo guys, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and then after you do that, make sure to turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. Guys, the secret I'm about to show you to get the Jade Key is gonna help you out so much. <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? It is Zeph and today we're back here with a brand new video and guys today I'm gonna explain to you how to get the legendary Jade key here on Roblox Make sure you guys have the copper key before getting the Jade key because you won't be able to get the Jade key without the copper key I made a video on how to get the copper key around two days ago It's really really easy I highly recommend you go with that video and then after you get the copper key come back to this video And I'm gonna explain to you how to get the Jade key So basically you're gonna need two things patience and like a device to take like a picture um, Or like an iPod touch phone or like a computer take a screenshot and uh, and then you're good to go all right patience you're gonna need a lot of it because this can get very very frustrating just uh, if you get frustrated or ever just take a break come back later it's all good and guys this video may be a little bit confusing to some basically um, I'm gonna explain in my best ability it's fine if you guys have to pause and uh, go back but basically you're gonna want to go on crane or highway and you're gonna find the green vending machine once you find the green vending machine right here uh, basically what you want to do is take a screenshot take a screenshot of what it looks like currently and then uh, basically you're gonna reference that so pull it up on your phone or computer or something and uh, you're gonna want to go to this website so I'm gonna give the link down in the description to the website and I'm gonna explain um, to the best of my ability on how to uh, basically use this website so you can get the key so basically have your uh, screenshot or picture right next to you and you want to go over here to 5x5 five five and you want to go to edit to where all of it is light so if you click edit a few times it'll actually all light up right here and basically if this makes sense um, you're gonna want to reverse what the screenshot looks like so this right here is a light key in my screenshot but I'm gonna uncheck that so basically wherever there's a light key on the screenshot you're gonna want to um, you know, uncheck it on here so here we go and uh, you're just going to to do this do this do this and then lastly uncheck this so this is exactly how it looks right there and then right now you're gonna want to put solve so right here you see a bunch of ones that is where you're gonna shoot you can do this in like 20 seconds or less but it just depends on how long you survive and you got to be very very careful you got to be very very accurate with this so my boy zero underscore zero gave me a little bit of an explanation on the best way to do this you kind of go it's, it's gonna be a lot of kind of confusing it's gonna be even a little confusing for me but uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go left to right bottom to top uh, so it, it's a little confusing, but I'm gonna explain it here um, when we go over this. Alright guys, so I'm gonna have the screenshot on the screen. Basically, the ones are what I have to go. Now, basically, you might get killed, uh, so just memorize the last one you did. So you want to start with the bottom row, which is the one. So one, two, three. Oh, this guy just went in front of me. Make sure you try to get a clear shot over here so people don't go in front of you and mess this up. Uh, let's go here, right there. And then you want to go right here. Oh, no, no, right here. And then we're gonna go, oh, this guy's going in front of me. Oh, fantastic. And then we're gonna go one. Uh, oh, and I died. Okay, so I only have two more at the top. Oh, guys, okay, so I just took a screenshot. This is what I have to solve right here. This is actually probably the easiest one I've gotten in a while. It's literally only three shots. And uh, as I said before, you kind of want to start with the most bottom row, okay? So if this makes sense, you want to go from the most bottom row you have of the ones, and you want to go left to right, okay? So I have to start with the with the second to last one here, and then I should be good to go. Now, I want to wait till these people are out of the way because I will literally die if I don't get this right. Uh, okay, so there we go. One right here, so we got to go... Here next, and then we gotta go one more right here. Boom. Yes, I did it! Okay, guys, so we got the Jade Key. We finally did it. We finally got the we finally got the Jade Key. It's about time, guys. Uh, you just have to have patience. Alright, this literally took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get, but I finally got it. Congratulations, you are on to the next step, and it's kind of like smooth sailing from here. So if we actually go to the loadout menu, we can actually see our Jade Key. Uh, let me just die right here. I'm gonna die right here, and you'll be able to see the Jade Key here. Um, in my inventory and it actually saves so you can actually join a different server, which is kind of cool So weapon loadout. Um, I believe it's on melee. There we go. We got the jade key. That's what I'm talking about boys uh, I'll even show you in the game uh, Deploy right here. Bam. Uh, I think I think it's like right here. Uh, where, where's my jade key? Oh, it's like it's like yes yeah, so There it is. There's the jade key and now guys. I'm gonna join um, The suburban neighborhood guys basically you want to exit out of phantom forces and keep going until you join the suburban uh, map that's the next map you want to go to and that's the last map 
will be on. So we're almost there, boys. All right, guys. So basically, you're going to want to go into the Suburbia map, which I finally found a match that actually had one. And you're going to head over to the light blue house, which is over there. Now, right now, I think in the game, there's some people camping it. I don't really know why. I guess they don't want, to want people to go in there. Uh, but we're going to sneak around and try to get there. And uh, basically, you're going to find this door on the second floor. And uh, you're going to use the Jade key on it. And you're actually going to get into a mini game, which is going to be pretty sweet. And you're going to play rounds of zombies. So if you played zombies before on like Call of Duty or Roblox before, then you know what you're getting yourself into. But basically, you got to go seven rounds. You got to go seven rounds without dying. And if you do that, then uh, you get the you get the final thing. So we're going to try this out. And uh, I'm actually here. Uh, zero. I'm in the light blue house. Oh, no. Someone's here. Someone's here. Whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I think it's this door. I'm pretty sure it's this door. Let's try it. Yes, you found the gate. No way. Prepare to me. Move to the last gate. Okay, I died, but I, I still opened it. So let's see if this works. Yes, it did. Okay. All right. You camping cops. Okay. All right. You, could, you couldn't beat me. All right, guys. You couldn't beat me. All right, guys. We're getting into the zombie map. Uh, basically, there's going to be seven rounds of zombies here. You just got to survive them. And if you die, it's okay, boys, because you get, you, get, you get chances to, uh, you know what I mean? You get chances. So it's all good. So uh, you get good guns, too. So, you know what I mean? Just keep shooting them. Maybe even start a train if you start a train you probably have a better chance of uh killing them all a lot easier all right guys two zombies left and we're gonna move on to round four i'm honestly really really excited i wish there was a little bit more fast paced because this does take a while but uh honestly i'm having a lot of fun you gotta take shortcuts i got stopped there why did i get stopped there i died you gotta be kidding me oh my god so guys, as you saw in that clip, I just died. But guys, after two hours of raging and, you know, dying on this zombie thing, I actually found a secret for you guys to easily get through the waves. So enjoy. Also, guys, if you enjoyed so far, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 1 million subscribers. So if you guys are part of the first 1 million subscribers, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. You are part of the first million. All right, on to the video. Guys, I have the solution to all the problems. Honestly, I've been trying at this game for nearly an hour now and i have a solution guys okay now i think this works we're gonna try it out together but basically this is the easiest way to do this this is the fastest and easiest video tutorial method basically go outside quickly come over here and check it out you want to go right up this slope and you see this right here it's a little bit of a glitch okay it's a little bit of glitch right go right up here zombies cannot climb the slope i'm pretty sure oh oh i fell i fell i fell fell <gasps> okay Okay, 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 okay. Let me see if I can stabilize. Yep, they cannot climb the slope. So guys, this is a little secret for you guys here on how to get all the zombies. They're all gonna line up. They're all gonna be really confused. Look at that guy, he's super confused. And you just, you just shoot him and have fun. So guys, I'm gonna do this honestly all the way to round seven. I may, I may go down a little bit because it seems like you have to jump up quite a bit unless you can kind of fix it yourself right there. Let's see, let's see. It's kind of hard to fix it yourself on there because I keep falling or whatever. Um, but there you go. Yeah, they literally cannot climb the slope. <laughs> so yeah, guys, just come right over here. Start shooting at some zombies and you're good to go. All right, guys. So basically, I would recommend what you do is after you get all of them and there's only a few left, you can go searching for them. You can do whatever. And then hold the knife. Hold the knife and uh, you'll actually go faster. So you can get back here really quickly. You don't have to deal with a lot of zombies or whatever. Uh, man, these guys are piling up though. I got to be kind of careful. But again, they can't climb the slope. So... We're pretty much good to go here. Oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. Gotta give props to my boy Zero for showing me this. Oh my gosh. Woo! Woo! You gotta keep up though. You gotta keep up. You can't quite AFK like crazy, but you can uh, you can chill here. Look at all those zombies. Seems like, guys, the last two you always kind of got to search for and got to find them because uh, they're always out and about wondering or they just haven't spawned yet or whatever. But again, um, what you could do is on the last zombie, you can kind of lead them over to here so you can just instantly go up and don't have to deal with the next wave of zombies. That's probably the easiest and best way. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you guys once I get to the last zombie. So the best thing to do, lead them over here. And, uh, you know, you don't have to go all the way over there. You really don't. Uh, but what I'm going to do is shoot them. Bring out the knife and I'm going to start running because when you have the knife, you run a little bit faster so you can kind of avoid zombies and stuff. And you want to go over here, get this back out and start shooting. All right, guys, last zombie before the last round. Bam, I'm going to get back and here we go, boys. Last round, we can't mess up. Got to be on my game. Guys, this round seven is actually insane. Like, I haven't got hit. We're all Gucci, but there are so many zombies. It's, it's, it's actually ridiculous, boys. It's actually ridiculous. So make sure not to fall down just like I did because you could, you could die in it. Wait, look at this. Look at this madness, bro. Look at this madness, bro. They're literally piling on each other. They're getting close to me. Ah! Guys, I can't believe I'm about to say it, but we're so close to beating this. We literally have seven left. Six left now. All right, no. Oh, whoa. I actually didn't get him. What the heck? This guy's strong. 
you guys wrong. <laughs> okay, we literally we don't have very many left. Um, so I might I might go around and try to hunt them because I remember last time the last six didn't actually spawn. Uh, so let's go look for them, boys. We're almost there. Last thing. Literally just six more zombies and we're done. We're done. Let's see if they spawn over here. They're, yep, they always spawn over here for some reason. All right, here we go. And this is the last round, so we just need the last one. Let's do it for the shotgun. Boom! And we are done. Congratulations, you cleared the stage. We got the award. Oh my gosh, we finally did it. I've been trying this for probably... I've been, I've been trying to do this thing for probably like three hours now. We finally got it, boys. Remember, patience is key in this event. Oh, and there we go, boys. There we go. We got the Jade crown over here. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I got it. Guys, <laughs> if this helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you are new. Uh, I hope those tips helped you out with the uh, beginning thing and then the uh, secret and the zombie thing. That secret and the zombie thing, just do it. Don't try to do it legit. It is so hard. Uh, but, yeah, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all the help. And, as always, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.